And now for the, the filter section. The filter section should really be called the filter and envelope section, but it's just called the filter section because, you know, that's where the filters live. Um, so basically you have two filters, um, and it, they're selected like this. Well, we'll be using, um, you know, oops, we'll be using this one filter and we'll balance it you know hard we're only using filter one right so we'll have the the filter open uh and it's adjustable with the knob on the left on the right left here oh, you should be able to see that right so that, that's you know your basic filter. Now remember when we had said we had our saturation section here, right? This is adjustable here as well. This is the the, the volume of so it goes it goes uh, goes filter, you know, it goes oscillator, and then into the filter. And uh, a couple of years ago, a lot of years ago, a couple of geniuses decided to put an amplifier uh, before the filter section to you know, have a bit of a, a filter overload, and they call that, you know, you know, os like the, the oscillator. So, for those analog fans out there, uh, we'll select analog mode, right? And then we have our four different kinds. These are the, uh, the low pass. This has four poles, three, two, one. And they're all modeled after uh, famous Moog synths, right? So I always like to use the, the fourth, um, and right now, we have our analog overdrive. Now say that with me. Yeah, anyway. So we'll play a sound and then we'll turn it to saturation. This emulates the saturation of uh, analog gear. Turn off the noise. And to really hear it, we'll bring the we'll bring the the filter down. We'll turn the resolution up. So right now, it's feedbacking into itself. It's a, and it's a nice kind of warm sound, right? You know, that's for the analog mode, and that's for kind of like harsher analogish sounds. Um, so we'll, dur we'll turn that off, and we have our, our low pass here, and we'll we'll stick the low pass. There's high pass, band pass, and band reject, or be it band band stop. That's weird. It's band reject anyway. Our band stop, our our low pass here. So we have this. Right. No saturation is selected at all, and you can select that here. Um, and we're going to be doing uh, some light saturation. That really it it screams, um, and it's it's an it's an exciting sound, and you can kind of experiment with uh, what kind of saturation you like. I like the light or the rectifier. It's more um, analogous to uh, uh, guitar uh, guitar pedals, right? So it does it flips it. You want to go for that kind of harsher sound, uh, but we'll stick with light. All right. So now I kind of want this to uh, kind of move down or uh, adjust over time 
with this envelope right here. So I'll select the envelope amount and I'll just play a note. gives it more of an analog feel. I'm going I'm going for analog emulation now because that's kind of what I'm into right now, but uh, you can use that for you can use different uh, configurations for different um, different sounds. Say if you want to go digital, which would emulate uh, TB303, you can go for a, a, like a like a harder a harder edged uh, acid sound just by cranking that resonance up. And you can uh, experiment with the high pass here. Right, and it's and it's very simple, um, very simple indeed. And then you have uh, one part that I I couldn't find right away because I was like, where's the ADSR? I was looking in the oscillator section. I was like, where the hell's the ADSR? It's actually in the filter section. And it's visually represented here. And with the new uh, um, OS 5, you have uh, your third and fourth uh, envelopes. You can adjust, you can uh, map to anything else, which I like. And uh, oh yeah, so you have uh, a bunch of different um, filter types. You have your two pole and your four pole. And then your uh, parallel, so you have both of these um, going into the same uh, saturation section. So you'd have both, which you good for like uh, one would have a uh, band pass here, and then you would mix them, uh, which I think we're gonna do for the rest of this segment. Um, and then you can split them, so, oops, split them so you'd have oscillator one and oscillator two, with the noise. Um, uh, split. We only have one uh, active right now, but you'd have uh, each of these going into separate, um, separate filters, and then um, uh, having only one go into the saturation. I believe, yeah, weird, anyway, yeah, and that's what we'll do, but we'll, we'll go parallel for now, and uh, we will continue when I get back. <laughs> 